Hey guys, what's going on? It's Delconic here, and the Super Saiyan 3 Broly card was finally announced, and we have all the actual card stat information for you, so let's go ahead and jump into the analysis. Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I provide here on my channel, don't forget to hit that like button, and also don't forget to subscribe and enable notifications, that way you get the most recent and up-to-date information about Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle delivered directly to you. Thank you, enjoy the video, and have a great day. Alright guys, so real quick, let's go take a look. You'll, you'll see the actual card art scrolling, side-scrolling on the screen directly from the Twitter account. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the card art myself. I think it's just kind of stupid. He's not really doing anything. Uh, but a little bit more of an attack animation might have been nice. And he just has a power ball in his hand, so, you know, power up supercharge. But that's just the card art in itself. Let's go ahead and talk about the actual translations of what his card does. His leader skill is Extreme Tech Type Key plus 3, HP and Attack and Defense plus 120% up and super attack type key plus one hp and attack plus 50 percent up his super attack is gigantic omega immense damage and greatly reduces defense his passive skill is its attack plus 100 percent up and for every key orb obtained its attack plus 12 percent up but defense goes down by 10 percent so if you get 10 orbs you have zero defense now we're going to go over a super attack uh, a little bit later in the video uh, his link skills are the Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepared for Battle, Super Saiyan, Nightmare, Limit Breaking Form, and Fierce Battle. The problem with this card is he does not do that well, or doesn't link that well on a mono, uh, he, a mono extreme tech team. I mean, I guess he has Nightmare, and he has Fierce Battle. Uh, there is, I think, one or two other Super Saiyans that are actually tech types, but they're not ideal. But um, I'll do that in another video and go over all that information in a different video. Uh, we're, st we're strictly sticking with just the card at this point. Um, now, also, by the way, thank you for, to uh, Colossus and Z for those translations. I'm also jumping on, I'm going to leave a link to the description, or a link in the description below to the Reddit post that I'm going off of. Also, I want to thank Mobile Man ASC for his breakdown of an average, uh, he's because Broly's technically a nuker. We have the average attack value of SS3 Broly on an average situation. So, directly from Mobile Man's post, assuming the 6.5 average for nukers, that's 6.5 key um, for nukers, which I will actually go down in a different video, I didn't realize that uh, Mobile Man had broken this this down. Um, I have that update in a separate video, uh, in a separate Reddit link. I won't go over here, it's going to be too long. But essentially, um, the average orb um, for nukers, the average orbs for nukers is about 6.5, so we're taking that into consideration. Um, this is SSJ3 Broly's attack calculation when Super Fierce Battle and Nightmare are active. Um, you have the 13,300 enhanced base attack, 3, and a, three times 0.4, which is Super Saiyan 3 Broly leader skills, a double uh, leader skill for Super Saiyan Broly, which comes out to 45,000 damage, 220 times 2.78 for his passive, and with 6.5 orbs, comes out to 125,711. And then you multiply that for by 1.25 for Super Fierce Battle and Nightmare Links, which comes up to 157,139. Uh, multiply that by his 12 key multiplier of 1.5, which comes out to 235,709. That key multiplier is taken directly from the video, from math and things from the video. <laughs> uh, and then you get the Super Attack Level 10 multiplier plus the 30% dupe system bonus for not having any dupes, just the free dupe system. Um, so that's times 5.35, which comes up to 1.261 million damage. And then the average attack value plus the 5 crit hit damage is factored in. It comes out to 1.391 million. So on average, with 6.5 orbs, he's hitting for 1.391 million uh, with a double 120 lead. Uh, yeah, so he's hitting, you know, harder. I guess he's hitting over a million, which is cool, but that's literally taking into consideration the average situation if he has the, the two links going off, and that you fed all full dupe, the, the dupe system into him, at least all the free paths, um, and that's also factoring the crit. Without the crit, it's 1.26 million, so, I mean, it, it's definitely not horrible. I just don't like that defense debuff. I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, when I first saw it, I read that, I was like, what the hell is that? It kind of stinks. There's definitely a whole bunch of people who are definitely not a big fan of it. Uh, I mean, essentially, if you're going up against, I mean, you you really only go up against intelligence teams uh, with a tech team if you're just trying to, you know, play around and see if you can do it to make it a little bit harder for yourself. But uh, essentially, an intelligence boss will one-shot him if you get all the orbs. Because remember, his defense goes down with the key orbs. So it's not like his defense is like the little LR Broly, where his defense is going to go down after he launches a super attack. So take that into consideration. Uh, I'm not going to go any further into the video. I'll do a linking video and team building with him in a different video. 
uh, just because it's 11.20, I gotta run to work in a little bit, and yeah, this just, I woke up to this news information. There you go guys, that's the full review of the SSJ3 Broly card. I'm not a huge fan of it personally. Uh, on a villain's team, I'd probably still run the LR Broly because he hit. I, I would. Just, he does hit a little, a little bit less damage than this Broly, but it's just more ideal in my opinion. But that's it guys, thank you, appreciate it. Hit that sub button if you are new here and I'll catch you in the next video.